and Transformers. And as INN's Christy Whitker reports, store owners are having a hard time keeping up with the incredible demand. They're selling so well, we can never keep them in stock. Uh, both items, we get about a thousand requests a day. And whenever we do get stock, we're sold out within two or three days, and it's another five or six weeks before we're able to get them in again. The sales manager of New York City's largest toy store is talking about the toy industry's newest craze, GoBots and Transformers, which are a cross between small die-cast vehicles, which have been a favorite of kids for generations, and space-age robots, which can assume a variety of shapes and forms. What's particularly desirable about such a toy? The shapes that you can make. Well, what shapes can you make? You can make them into anything you want. It's clever the way it's, it transforms from one thing to another. And it looks pretty authentic, too. It makes some weird shapes that makes your imagination run away. For some, although the imagination ran away, the fingers couldn't follow. I saw them on TV once. They seemed easier on TV. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing here. How about you? Can you figure it out? No, I'm somewhere between a, a truck and I don't know what. GoBots and Transformers are manufactured by two rival toy companies. Tonka Toys GoBots came out first, then came Transformers by Hasbro Industries. Depending on their size, the toys range in price from six to thirty-five dollars. Both have command centers and comic books which explain how the creatures came to Earth and which are the good guys and which are the bad. The GoBots command center, which stores all the small GoBots, can convert from a rolling to a walking to a standing vehicle. And open up the halves of the body, you have a command center. You have a jail for enemy GoBots. You have a cafeteria for good GoBots to get recharged. This transformer switches from tape recorder to Decepticon communicator and back again, while the cassette itself becomes a bird. Cabbage Patch was last year's phenomenon for girls. Transformers will be this year's phenomenon for boys. Last year, Coleco Industries, which manufactured the hot-selling item Cabbage Patch dolls, rang up orders totaling $60 million. But this year, the toy industry says GoBots and Transformers will give those dolls a run for their money. Both companies say they've already had orders totaling more than $100 million. For the Independent News, this is Christy Whitker in New York City. I wonder whatever happened to regular old train sets. <laughs>